So today we're going to be making one of my grandma's recipes. We're going to be making some scones, some English scones. Now normally you would have these for tea time in England. It was very common, especially when I was growing up, visiting my grandma. I used to have these all the time for, with tea. Then again, I would also eat them in the morning because they go great with butter and jam. But anyway guys, before we get going today, be sure to like the video down below, subscribe to my YouTube channel if you haven't done so already, and let's get started. Now, making scones is a very easy and straightforward recipe, and pretty much you just need several ingredients. But before we do anything, first I'm going to measure and weigh out all the ingredients because this just makes the whole process a lot quicker. And when you are measuring out the flour, if you do notice some lumps in it, you may want to put it through a sieve just to catch any of those larger pieces. Now the other thing is that I'm using normal all-purpose flour. If you're using self-rising flour, which already contains a, well, baking powder in it or a levelant, then you don't need to add any baking powder. But today, since we don't have it in it, I'm going to use a little pack, or I'm actually going to weigh it out first, to use some baking powder as well. And then another trick that I use in the kitchen, instead of having all these different dishes and pots, is to re-zero it, weigh out the flour, to what you need, re-zero again, then add the sugar and then the rest of the dry ingredients. Mix all the dry ingredients together very well first. Then I'm going to weigh and measure out the amount of butter that we're going to need. And again, you want your butter or margarine, you want it at room temperature because then it's more malleable, because then it's easier to manage and it's easier to mix in with the rest of the dry ingredients. Now, when you add the butter, you want to mix everything well, but to the point of when it's more like a sandy consistency. And then the other important thing is to also have your milk weighed or measured out as well, because one, you can measure up to the little line, say, in a measuring cup, but if you actually put that on the scale, it's not going to be exactly, say, 300 milliliters, more or less. It's gonna be a little different. Now, I'm gonna make a little circle in the bowl, and then I'm going to start adding the milk. Now you can take either a wooden spoon or your spatula and go around the outside and slowly keep folding the mixture inward. You don't want to knead this, this is not like a normal loaf of bread. You want to gently mix all the ingredients together and to more or less the consistency that you see in the video. Again, it's not going to be a perfect consistency, it's not like kneading dough like bread, it's not the same thing. Then after everything is mixed together to the point that you see in the video, you want a workspace that's nice and clean. You're gonna take a little bit of flour, you're gonna spread it out, then you're going to take the dough and you're going to pour it onto the flour, onto the mixture. And we're just going to shape this into a nice round shape. If you have too much flour, make sure to wipe it off and dust off the rest of the excess flour because you don't want to be adding and adding and adding and adding more flour to this because all the measurements are already measured out but you just want enough so it doesn't stick. And you're gonna slowly flatten the dough. You want to be at more or less one inch. It's not necessary that you actually take a tape measure and measure out one inch exactly, but more or less across the entire piece of dough, one inch, and then if you have some little cookie cutters, you're gonna use a medium to small size ring, or if you don't have one, you can improvise by using a little cup. Now I'm just going to put a little flour onto my little cutter and I'm going to cut little pieces out of the dough. You want to make sure that your oven is preheated. Place all the little pieces that you've cut out onto the baking tray with a little bit of a gap between them because they will expand. And then any of the dough that's left over, gently mold it again into a nice little shape. Cut out the rest of the pieces and since I don't have a lot of material today, I'm gonna to use everything, even if I have a little one left, and that's it. So the other important thing is that when you're baking, um, and especially if you notice that your ovens are off a little bit, it's good to have another thermometer or an oven thermometer in the oven to check the actual temperature of it, because my oven has told me it came up to temp at 200 or 220 centigrade, and my little thermometer is telling me it's at 180. So this is a very big difference, and this makes a big difference, especially when baking or when using the oven for anything, because it just, well, it just doesn't cook at the temperature that you want it. So now before we put it in the oven, I'm gonna take a little egg and a little bit of milk, and I'm going to egg wash the top of the scones, 
and then I'm going to put this into the middle part of the oven, the middle shelf, and we're going to put a timer on for about 12 minutes. If your oven doesn't cook as hot, it may have to take a few more minutes. Just keep an eye on this. And again, everybody's oven is a little different. And then when the timer goes off, you can take them out of the oven, open one up to make sure that it's done, and if they're steaming like this, it's perfect. You can take a little bit of butter and a little bit of strawberry jam, put that on it as well, and there you have a perfect little scone for afternoon tea or even a nice little scone for breakfast. So guys, I hope you enjoyed this quick and easy little recipe. If you have any questions or comments, be sure to write me down below. I hope all of you have a great week. Take care and I'll see you guys again soon. Hopefully in my new kitchen and the flat, but I have to still paint a few rooms. So anyway, see you soon. Bye.